Hello, my rulers. How are you doing today? My voice is a little hoarse. I was on a podcast yesterday. Yeah, me. The one who doesn't really know how to speak fully full English sentences. <laughs> Yeah, I got invited to go to a podcast, like a local one, and talk about K-pop. Because of that, <clears throat> my throat for some reason is just not used to all that talking, because like I don't have friends in real life. Okay, but that just got depressing. This room is a mess. You guys could literally see this. I wouldn't do that to you. You'll have nightmares. But let's look at something that's not gonna give you nightmares. It's gonna give you happy mares. <laughs> I didn't watch Set Me Free part two here, okay? I know that, I'm very aware. I have to say where I'm very impulsive in certain moments. And that was a moment where I was impulsive. I just was like, I can't wait. Um, yeah. No. Everything about Set Me Free, this whole thing feels epic and just grand. And we're seeing a side of Jimin that I don't think anyone was like expecting to this degree. I wasn't. Like I knew that man had a little bit of feistiness in him, but my dude, the when he cussed in the first like 30 seconds, no, I was out. And then he did it again. And then him with the freaking mesh at, I guess it wasn't mesh, it was literally tattooed on him all over his body, German poem or whatever it was. I, yo, that moment that scream went to that, okay, bye. I'm with this vibe so much. I dissected the lyrics and if that's how he's he's been feeling, it's actually so heartbreaking if you think about it. It was almost like he was trapped and now he's really being set free. Like he's finally able to explore who he is as an artist and who he wants to be. And boy, I am I all for it. I'm ready to fly with you. I'm trying to stall so hard. Are you nervous about this, Jimmy? Why are you so dirty, Chimmy? No one even touches you. I purposely make sure no one touches you for the fact that I don't want you to get dirty. Is it my grimy ass? I know was he falls almost. I don't know what his vibe is gonna be for this one, but from the thumbnail, why do I feel like it's gonna give Timmin vibes? I don't know why. I just feel like this man screams, "This is real. This is me. This is my truth." Okay. We're not gonna do lyrics per usual. I'm turning them off. I'm just gonna focus this and then lyrics after my. This seems. Not the bullet. Trust you, bitch. I you have my trust in your hands. <laughs> oh my god. The way it's so sensual already. It's Dude, this is giving me Holland vibes more than Damon, to be honest with you. Oh, where are you looking for me? Hi, hello, I'm over here. Yeah. Head to na This is so interesting so far. Like, it's already done different melodies. Tempos I win also. Look how happy you look. I just feel like this is his time. Woo! Get lost in it, though. Ooh, whoa. Dreams that that you um you had. Stop it! Why is this gonna make me? <laughs> why do I? I don't know why, but I feel like this is something like F you to literally everybody. Like <laughs> you're off. Especially all that that people gave him in 2019 when he had that video of like in Paris where he was out partying at like a house. This is literally like F you. I can do what I want. His voice. Oh my little guy. Yo. This just makes so much sense for him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same. <laughs> Was that supposed to be like his reflection or something? 
Tell your father to relax, okay? So I'm gonna keep saying it. This just makes so much sense. This is him. I'm saying it's giving the Holland vibes, the Tim and vibes. I mean that like it's a specific type of genre, and that's where he's leaning towards, and it makes sense for Jimin. His voice, I will always say this forever, reminds me a little bit of Selena Gomez in moments, especially in like the song Promise. His voice for me is just so unique in that way. Like obviously it's giving Jimin. It's Jimin and only Jimin, right? With the only one. Baby Mochi, there's no baby Mochi here anymore. Very sexy Mochi. <laughs> this is really ch like chapter two of everybody in BTS. It's a grown up version of BTS that I think a lot of people were wanting. I mean, I was. You want the authentic, like, show me who you are. Like, you want to see their real selves, and this. <laughs> just like, I'm just thinking about the day V or JK releases sh that's gonna be the whole internet's gonna break but JK I feel like would go more poppy but who the f knows with that man I feel like he could do 17 different genres in one album <laughs> well V goes like jazzy more R&B ish kind of you know but you know not a lot of people can really pull off the mullet the only person I've seen that can really really truly truly pull it off was Hong Joon and not him but what's expected the man is a walking your ad. I think we could last forever. I think so too, Jim. I'm afraid that everything will disappear. The, oh, it's a boy and girl. I didn't even catch that the first time. I'm afraid that everything will disappear. Yo, just the freaking fact that there's wisp like. Oh my god. She's saying, baby, don't think about it. There's not a bad thing. Do you hear how sensual and fragile his voice is? Fine, you leave, stay with me just for today, baby. And then it switches. This is where it gives me like Holland vibe. Watch me go, keep me drenched all night. We watched. What are we? It's weird in these moments when you have wanted this from them forever and then it's here. What are we drenched in all night? I'm just gonna assume it's sweat. He's playing with his voice and that's, I love that. You know what this is reminding me of too now all of a sudden I'm realizing it sounds like kind of like the weekend. It's very electronic pop-ish. That is so catchy. I know you know. The end of the night, you don't have to ask me to move. Spin me up high, the moon, the moon, the moon, the moon, the moon. The moon. Yes. I need to know exactly who made the executive decision on that line. Please. It's gonna be a good night. It's giving you four that's why I'm loving it so much. Literally, like, getting, you're getting lost in the sound. Not the lights. The lights, too, but the sound. See, this is giving me weekend now. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. I love that little... My reflection within love me. The moon embraces you. Let me have a... T a t I don't even miss that. Hard. But you have a lot. This is so fun to, like, harmonize with, bro. in love with this where is he on this shirt dude <laughs> can't see is this is this baby mochi look like the same baby mochi that we had just watched it's a new flavor of mochi it's a sophisticated flavor of mochi my new favorite flavor of mochi right now in this moment somewhere in the world somebody is watching this that does not know who jimin is doesn't really care for bts or any of that Watching it and being so infatuated with him, just like in awe. That's his aura. It's awe. This music is the perfect little bow on his awe aura. His aura is serving. I want his aura. How many times can I say aura now? <laughs> it's like a new word unlocked in my brain. The limit does exist. And I just crossed it like three auras ago. It's that teetering line between playfulness and sexiness. 
and he's just always teetering there and that's such a dangerous spot to be. Throwing it on our face going, yeah, I can have both and you're gonna enjoy it and you're right and we're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna enjoy it all the way to the damn bank. When we file bankruptcy because the amount of albums I have bought for face is stupid. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember your love and until I see you next time. Papa puppies, papa puppies, papa puppies.